Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for mid-November. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I focus on love, and that's why we include the Venus, okay? So, I cut the deck. This is the vice versa deck. There's, there's stuff on both sides. And we have the Queen of Cups with her back turned. So you may, if you're a woman, you may have turned your back on a situation. You may be going within. You may be feeling a little detached emotionally. If you're a Capricorn woman, you may feel like you you need to work on your emotions. You, you're maybe feeling a little over-emotional at this time. Maybe you're feeling a little discontent with something. I don't know. If you're a woman, you're probably feeling a little ungrounded, per se. Maybe you're feeling tearful. You know, sometimes, you know, we go through that. We go through periods of emotional discomfort at different times in our lives. So this is mid-November. If you are the woman here, you may feel like detaching from a situation or you may be feeling like you just need to be alone right now. And that's, that's fine. If you are a man, you may be dealing with a woman who has detached herself. Maybe your woman is overly emotional during this time and she needs support, you know. That could certainly be the case. If you are a Capricorn man, there is a woman here that may be feeling less than loved. Put it that way. Yeah, well, either way, there's a woman here that is not feeling emotionally content, period. You know, she feels like her emotions are not being taken care of. Now we have the Emperor reversed, so this is an Aries, so this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it could be you, Capricorn. If you're the Capricorn woman, this is probably you uh, feeling um, an emotional imbalance at this time, okay? If you're the man, then you are probably going within as well, okay? You're probably feeling detached as well. Maybe you're feeling like oh, you don't want to give up control. You know, this, I mean, you would, this, this would be a king and this would be a queen, you know, and it looks like both people in this situation are closed off a little bit, the man and the woman. Um, maybe you're trying, if you are the Capricorn man, you're trying to figure out what you, what you can, what you can do to, to help this woman, but you also don't want to, you know, you're masculine, right? If you're a man, there's there's a masculine tendency to not open up your heart. So you may need to, and then if you do, it's like you... If you do open up your heart to this woman, it's like you've given this woman some of the, some of the control. And I think there's definitely some, some control issues here. This could also, I mean, if you... Well, let me get some more cards. I don't want to say anything else at this point. I want to keep going, but it looks like there's an opportunity to start something new, okay? Because this is a this is like the Ace of Wands. There's a new opportunity that this man is not taking. He knows it's there, and that's this is for the Capricorn man, or it's for the Capricorn woman who is waiting for this man to take the opportunity. We have a man that needs to turn around and pick up the opportunity. But he can't, for some reason, he isn't, you know, I'm not sure why he's not doing it. We're going to get some more cards, but we have a man that isn't, you know, taking the the opportunity that is, is waiting for him to pick it up. I mean, this is... You know, if you think of the Ace of Wands, that's that's passion, that's growth, that's a new beginning, a new partnership. And it's like, he has the world in his hands and he knows it. He knows it. But we have this woman that wants to share with him and he's not really opening up. Which is causing her to detach. So we have this couple here that is detaching from each other because... He's not seeing the opportunity or he's not taking the opportunity that she's offering and she's in her feelings about it.
Now, somebody could end up walking away because of it. You know, if somebody can't swallow their pride and work together, we have somebody here that could be walking away, leaving a situation. Now, and here we have the judgment card. This is a card of forgiveness. It's a card of um, awareness. And it's a card of truth, speaking your truth. And this is a wake-up call. The judgment card is a wake-up call. Now, if these two people can't communicate, somebody's going to walk away. Somebody's going to walk away. And ego, this is the Five of Swords, is a card of ego. A card of pride. I have to win. And maybe I seclude myself by proving a point and then somebody ends up leaving the situation. Because if I can't, why would I want to hold on to something that isn't holding on to me? You know? So it looks as though somebody is going through some sort of awakening here. Because there's a lack of communication. There's a lack of acceptance. It's like both people are turning their backs on each other instead of facing each other. Maybe somebody's holding a grudge when they should just surrender. Yep. Yes, look at this man. Look at this man. He's very... The man in this situation is feeling really insecure with himself. Doesn't want to ask for help. Want Doesn't want to give this woman any of his power. It's like he has an opportunity to see the light, but he's refusing to. It's like he's very in his head about accepting anything from this woman and now she's turning her back I definitely we have a woman here that is feeling like you're blocking me you're blocking me you're blocking me from giving you love and he just doesn't want to surrender any control at all I got the goosebumps We're going to get one of these cards. I'm going to start shuffling while I'm talking. Surrendering. Control. Letting go of a grudge. Forgiving. If there's been some sort of argument, forgiveness is needed. If you surrender, there's an opportunity for happiness here. There's also, and for some of you, somebody could be walking away and going back to somebody from their past. Because this man isn't accepting the offer so something is or isn't seeing what is available um there's a there is perseverance here somebody is trying to stick it out hoping for hoping that something will work really doing everything in their power to make this work i mean really big time like i really really don't want to give up this man doesn't want to give up and neither does the woman it's like both people don't want to give up on each other but if there's no communication in this constant feeling of of you know there's power struggles here there's there's insecurities there's blocking emotions uh, we can't talk to each other you 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 know there's there's a there's big blockage here in the heart it's like you're not accepting the love that I have to offer. And so, you know, I may just have to walk away. So, yeah. I mean, that's that could certainly be the case. Somebody may be deciding to go in another direction. Because it's not about winning this, this fight, whatever it is that they've been in. This battle or this 
power struggle to as to who's in control. It's about working together. And it looks like these two people are not really working together. Not the way they should be. There's definitely a lot of conflict here. And, but there is an opportunity for a lot of happiness if you could surrender whatever it is, the, the notion or the obsession or whatever it is that you need to be right or that you need to win this battle or whatever. There's an opportunity for happiness. But in another scenario, here with this Five of Swords, somebody is walking away. They are. I've had enough. I have had enough. Somebody is leaving. And they're headed to, maybe they're moving back home. You know, to their, to their hometown. You know, they decide to go to their hometown. Or maybe they've reconnected with somebody from a long time ago. And, and now they're in the process of going down that road. So, I feel like... There's some sort of truth that is going to come out because this is the two of swords. It's like she's about this woman, the woman in this dynamic, whether it's the cross watcher or not. The woman in this dynamic is thinking about speaking up for herself because her heart is not being fulfilled. And I think this man knows it. But he doesn't want to accept it. He doesn't want to accept it. Because there's huge power struggles here between the man and the woman. And now it's like, it's like I think there's been some sort of epiphany, awakening, that somebody has had in this dynamic. Maybe both people. And somebody may be deciding, you know, does... Do, does this have any chances left? Can we give this one more chance or should I move on? So I really feel like there is a connection with somebody from the past which could cause somebody to actually make that move. You know, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on from this. And since we can't look at each other, since we've both turned our backs on each other, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm going back home. I'm going back to where things are good. Because I'm ready for I'm ready for my happiness. It looks like somebody is surrendering. I'm not going to hold on to this anymore, whatever it is. So we're going to get one of these. I'm sorry. We were supposed to get one of these a minute ago. Um, patience. Patience. Now this is like the temperance card evolving as well this reminds me of the temperance card the temperance is somebody has changed they're not the same person that they used to be something has happened to make a person change i've been dropping things all day So, I think that we have, a major wake up call here, right in the middle. We have somebody that is growing weary in a relationship. And they are growing weary because there's a lack of communication and there's too many power struggles as to in regards to who is in control. And the ego is driving this situation. And somebody's probably thinking about walking away. And this could be the week where they actually do walk away. Right back to the past. Right back home. Right back to their hometown. They may move or... I don't know. We're going to get some clarifiers here. What is this Six of Cups? Uh Wake up, awakening, a wake up call, communication, um, power, truth. 
the raw truth. I think there's been a reconnection with somebody from the past. Especially for the woman. The woman in this dynamic, whether it's the cross watcher or, or the Capricorn woman or somebody. There's been a reconnection with somebody from the past. And she may be deciding that she doesn't want to deal with this other person's character anymore. This person is not a nice person. You know, he's not. This person is somebody that is very egotistical, mean, hurtful. And it looks like she's about to take back her power and probably speak some truth. I think that there is going to be a revelation here that changes somebody's direction. Absolutely. Absolutely. Out of respect. The journey to balance and harmony. I think that somebody is moving in a new direction. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now here we have this man... That is stable, secure, hardworking, genuine, loyal. And he has a solid offer in his hand. So, and he's going to communicate with, I think it's this woman. <laughs> yep there's a new opportunity here a new suitor in the mix somebody has a new passionate offer an invitation this person wants you to or wants your person to go with them Somebody's found a suitor that's better suited for them. That's what it looks like to me. Somebody that is a hard, hard worker. And I feel like it that there's been a major awakening here for you, Capricorn. And if you're a Capricorn man, you're probably ready for this. You're probably ready for this change. You're probably ready for this new suitor. And we do have a new suitor here. Somebody that is very well suited for you. And it's somebody that you have known. And it can lead to a lot of happiness. But it's you have to surrender something first. Page of Cups. Yeah, there's a new love. There's a new love here, Capricorn. And I think that this is the message of love. And I think it's a message that you've been waiting for. Now, whether, whether it's the person that you were dealing with that got a new message from somebody that they... I think it's somebody that they knew from childhood. Whether it's you or them, there's, there's like a uh, reconnection with somebody from the past. There is. And this person, whoever it is, has come to the realization that this is a better suitor for me. This is where I will find the happiness because there's too many power struggles over here. So I think that there's one man here that is going to feel very lost because of his inability to take action and his insecurities and his instability, you know, because he's not stable. He doesn't, he doesn't accept help. He doesn't, he doesn't put in effort. He doesn't, uh, he's constantly on thin ice. He's just a mess. So we have one man here that you know, is so controlling but doesn't want to accept help, doesn't want to, he's a know-it-all. We have one man here that is a know-it-all and he's not accepting that the offer from this woman who has her heart fully open and therefore I think this woman, because her offer is not being uh, accepted fully, you know, her, off, 
her offer isn't being accepted and fulfilled. She's not getting any love in return from this situation. Now she's got this new reconnection and she's woken up because she's like, I need love. I need attention. I need security. I need stability. You know? So I think that somebody, I just happened, somebody is, is leaving a situation. They're moving on. They are. Somebody is moving in a new direction because they didn't get the emotional fulfillment that they needed from the man. The woman is turning her back on the man because the man turned his back on her. That's what's happened here. And now there's been an awakening because somebody else has presented themselves with a solid offer. So it's shit or get off the pot and somebody didn't get off the pot. That's what it looks like to me. So I think that this, this, per, this relationship t stood the test of time, you know, and, and maybe, you know, somebody has given it their all, but now it's gotten to the point where this is never going to happen. It's time to me, me, time for me to move forward in a new direction because I'm ready. I'm ready for this new adventure. So, Capricorn, I feel like you probably are dealing with some sort of struggle because perhaps your partner, for some, for some of you, your partner is reconnecting with somebody else or it's you connecting with somebody else. <coughs> There's definitely been a reconnection from the past, whether it's your, your partner or you. And it could lead to happiness. The reconnection is going to lead to happiness. <coughs> okay. You could be dealing with Leo, by the way. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, <coughs> either way, there's going to be some sort of truth. There's going to be a wake-up call, a revelation. There's no... This is wake-up call, and this is wake-up call. And this is truth, and this is truth. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed that changes the direction. I mean, right here, changes the direction. I'm serious, okay? Something is, there's going to be some sort of revelation or communication or movement that <coughs> changes the direction. And I think that, you know, whatever this is, it's going to allow you to progress towards a more peaceful and harmonious life, believe it or not. You may feel like it's not very comfortable, but in the end it is because we have these three sixes. Six, six, six. The journey to balance and harmony, okay? It's where you have to face the demons. You have to face the fears. You have to face whatever the struggles are to get to balance and harmony, but it looks like you are progressing in a better direction, whether you think so or not. You may be feeling really uncomfortable with it, and it may be very, very stressful. But, but, it's you got to face the truth. You got to face the truth to get the victory and success that you deserve. Um, it's about respect as well. It's about getting the respect that you deserve. And there's been a lack of respect between these two people. They can't even face each other. Okay, so. It looks to me like there's going to be some sort of wake-up call, some sort of truth, some sort of communication that comes in that probably causes somebody to walk in a new direction and find new love. Because I do see that there is a new message of love here. I think it's a welcome message and somebody's probably going to accept it. There's, there's, there's a... There's, Somebody that is better suited that is going to receive communication and they're going to head in that direction towards the, the love that they need. So, yeah, and in the end, this is going to lead to happiness, but you're going to have to be, be patient as all of this unfolds. Just remain calm, keep yourself grounded. Keep yourself under control because the stability and the security that you have to offer will prevail.
there's definitely going to somebody has has reconnected with somebody and they see the potential you know they see the potential and they're very attracted to this person I think there's going to be a split. I'm sorry to say, I think there's going to be a split. And it's going to hurt. But in the end, it's going to bring back stability and security. If you are a single Capricorn, there's somebody new that is really suited for you. There's a message coming in with from somebody that is very, very well suited for you. That could make you extremely happy. And it's somebody that you've known for a long time from your childhood. Could be another another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And this person is much better suited for you than this person that you can't communicate with. And th these emotions, the truth has been blocked for quite some time. Somebody's been trying their damnedest to make it work but it's not working and now now there's a new connection here that is causing somebody to actually walk away because this connection is better for me and they've come to the awakening they've woken up I you know I'm awake so I think that somebody has received some sort of epiphany that I have to be honest with myself and move in the direction towards victory and success and surrender and walk away from this power struggle that we have been in it's a huge power struggle you can't win. You can't win with this person, no matter what. And it's a win. It's a it's a situation where it's a serious power struggle. Okay, it really is. But this, it's like both of you have to win, and that's never going to work if people cannot compromise. And these people can't. The, neither one can compromise. It's like no, I know what's best. It doesn't work like that. So I feel as though there's some sort of truth that is going to come out in regards to a reconnection with somebody from the past because somebody wasn't getting the love that they deserved in the situation that they're in. There's a mess. There's there's love messages going back and forth. There is. You, there's there's like texting, or something like that. There is. There's there's texting uh, or sexting going back and forth between these people. There is. There is. There's a strong attraction between two people. Oh, you saw me shuffle. You saw what happened. You know it. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. It is what it is. It's going to lead you to something better. Trust me, it is. I see that it is. I have to show you what's on the bottom. Remember we talked about someone from the past? Someone from your past is returning to your life. That's what this is about. There's a past, I saw it anyway. And it, I think it's for both people involved. I really do, I really, really, really do. I think it's for the woman and the man in this dynamic. Someone is, there's someone from your past that is returning to your life. And this is somebody that you knew when you were a child. I, I know that it is. 
but you're going to separate from this one first. So be prepared for a little bit of uncomfortableness. But in the end, you will have victory and success. And you will come out on top. So yeah, that's what I have. I'm sorry this is not what you want to hear. But it is what it is. Good luck.